Driving on 196. Let's go try this KFC right here in the Linwood area. Hi, can I try the five dollar tasty meal? Five dollars. Uh, the or what's good, YouTube? Is your Asian phenom back with another exciting and proper fast food review? Today I'm reviewing KFC's brand new. Five dollar Phillips. Let's see what this is all about. They have five tasty meals to choose from, and I went with the two piece drumstick and thighs. Let's check out the box real quick. It says hashtag How do you KFC? Lemon herbs and spices, all that good stuff. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. What's that camera? You know what? Right off the bat, this reminds me of Dairy Queen's five buck lunch meal. I guess that's their version to combat Dairy Queen and also Jack in the Box munchy meals, but those are the six bucks. Let's get into it. It comes with a medium drink. I opted for the raspberry iced tea, and I couldn't substitute it, unfortunately. So, what you think about asking it? We got the mashed potatoes. The two piece is the drumstick and the thigh. Comes with the biscuit. Oh snap! They forgot my chocolate chip cookie. Man, that's like five points deduction. That that really sucks. They forgot my chocolate chip. My bad, y'all. I forgot to look in my bag. <laughs> Actually, it did come with chocolate chip cookie. I appreciate them wrapping it in the bag. So there you have it. All this stuff for five bucks. Let's open it up so we can investigate what it's all about. Hook me up with a spork. First of the bat, since I'm already at it, let's try some of this mashed potato and gravy. Actually, let me zoom in so you guys can see all the goodness of it. There you have it. Of course, Akira is in the back hiding out, trying to catch whatever falls on the ground, right? Smart dog. Smart dog, indeed. I raised her right. First off the bat, mashed potato and gravy. Pretty tasty. It's a typical flavor that you expect from fast food restaurants. It's not bad. It's definitely not the best I've had. It's passable. Let's try some of this biscuit. This is the KFC biscuit. Of course, I'm going to compare it to Ezel's and also Church's. It's flaky. Easy to tear apart. It might be a little bit salty, but it's alright built for a biscuit. Now let's try the chicken. I asked for one piece uh, crispy and one piece regular. I'm not sure this is crispy. Neither of these look crispy. But I'm guessing this would be crispy. But of course, they're hot sauce. Very good stuff. Gotta have some of that. Pour some of this out. There's a drumstick. I imagine this is the crispy piece. It's a good portion. Let's get into it. Yeah, the drumstick is pretty flavorful, but that hot sauce makes it twice as good. Now, let's try this thigh piece. Almost looking like a breast. It's pretty big. It's pretty big thigh piece. I'm happy about the portion. The skin is not... This has got to be regular. Look at the chicken. Sucking up pieces. Yeah, first off the bat... The skin is not crispy at all. Kind of disappointed about that, but here's for the dessert chocolate chip cookie. Tears apart pretty easily, if I remember right. These are pretty good. 
Oh yeah, that's a really good chocolate chip cookie. Since I'm feeling a little bit thirsty right now, let's wash it down with some of this raspberry tea. That's what it looks like. Whoops. <laughs> Take a sip of that. Ah, pretty good. So, there you have it. That's the KFC 5 Buck Fill Up Meal. On a scale of 100%, I would recommend this, and I would give it a 86%. Is this not right there with, in my opinion, with Dairy Queen? But if you definitely love fried chicken, this is the way to go. It, you get what you pay for, 5 bucks. Definitely thumbs up. So until next time, take care of yourselves. Oh, <laughs>